Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 23rd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. We're always starting out here looking at the sun for the past 48 hours, those large plasma filaments swirling around the southern hemisphere of our sun, and as well, strong C-class solar flares, no major M-class or X-class solar flares to report, nor coronal mass ejections heading our way but definitely still keeping an eye on the plasma filaments as they've been pretty entertaining throughout the week and as well a little bit dangerous. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, active and fiery sunspot region coming in. It's produced multiple C-class solar flares. Outgoing imagery here. Outgoing coronal hole. And as well, that plasma filament in the southern hemisphere right-hand side still hanging on and dancing around. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, cresting into limb, filament there, snaps back to the surface. Another one dancing along the equator. We also have, as I said, departing coronal hole. And as well, a new coronal hole developing, coming in ahead of new sunspot regions. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for watching, staying aware and prepared with daily space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Right now, we are observing seven sunspot regions, 39965. You can see that coming into view right here. Sunspot regions in motion. Some big dark spots coming into view. So heads up for this next week ahead. Current space weather conditions. We are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts. Solar radiation is down compared to the other day. Solar winds are coming in at 401 kilometers per second. Still slightly elevated. Solar x-ray flux as you can see here. Minor M-class solar flare reported yesterday and multiple C-class solar flares, strong ones. Solar proton flux back down to a normal range. Geomagnetic activity hopping up to a KP2. Space Weather Prediction Center showing here forecast space weather models. As there are no new solar storms headed our way, but we are expecting some slight geomagnetic instability. Coronal holes, plasma filaments. There's that large coronal mass ejection from the other day and the conglomerate of planets and satellites. Oh boy, this first week of December is going to be very interesting. Heads up, Mercury there coming in for retrograde, meaning going in between Earth and the Sun. And there's our next geomagnetic event coming up. Slight instability, 25th into the 26th. Having a look at Alaska 3 here, broad spectrum, wide spectrum, showing the last three days of events. There's that large coronal mass ejection from the backside, big solar flare. And just recently did have a coronal mass ejection from the northwest region. As you can see, a big plume taking off here. Southwest region there, and then Big CME, instantly putting us into solar radiation storms. And look at all that plasma and cosmic energy coming our way. Level up, everybody. Big ball of plasma spewing away there in the last few images. Tonight's aurora forecast and tomorrow's. Not too much. Slightly more chance tonight than tomorrow across North America. South, not so much. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as they're still very low. But just recently, 4.4 earthquake Philippines, lots of activity, Philippines plate, and as well, Tonga region today. Largest and deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, Lavuka, Fiji, 592 kilometer depth, 5.9 earthquake. So heads up, my friends and family, we've seen lots of deep earthquakes this week and not much of a 
large magnitude shallow earthquake to follow. So just heads up, everybody. King Cove reporting a 4.4 earthquake. North American plate, slight increase in seismicity. No major swarms to talk about, but notable earthquake here. 3.8 Malibu, California off the coast. And as well, 3.5 there up into Oregon. And then Caribbean plate, South America, eerily quiet right now. Has all of a sudden just gone quiet for the past 24 hours. African plate, not too much to talk about. 4.4 there. Kyrgyzstan, and as well a 5.4 here. Tajikistan, 4.3 there up into Myanmar. That's the past 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers and movers across this amazing planet. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to smack that thumbs up if you enjoy these updates. I'll keep them coming. Much love and I thank you so much for all the support. Thank you so much for almost 83,000 followers. Truly amazing and I'm truly grateful for you all. Lots of deep earthquakes this week. Way too quiet South American plate. A lot of activity the Philippines. Some release up into the north with the Iceland volcano eruption. And as you can see here, the sulfur dioxide emissions are piling up in the north thanks to active volcanic players. And right now, we have 69 of them across the world. 69 active and or erupting. I do believe it's 55 that are continuously erupting. But still... That's almost double the average numbers and double the numbers that I've reported in the past. Notable there, you can see SO2 starting to plume down from Iceland after it erupted two nights ago, yet again. Let's have a look at world weather here, brought to you by windy.com. Got a nor'easter here, scooting through the Atlantic provinces over the next couple days. And then low pressure systems coming in from the Pacific are set to smash into high polar vortex. We're going to see our first winter storm at Wednesday, the 27th into the 28th of November for Ontario. We're going to see our first winter storm. And then watch this thing barrel up into the Hudson Bay and then barrel back down into Ontario. Long range forecast. Could see about 20 centimeters of snow across parts of eastern Canada and northeast United States. Overlooking Europe, Africa, South America, daily evaporation rains in the south and large systems affecting all of Europe this week. High pressure ridges only saving Spain at the time being as you've got medicanes <laughs> developing through the Mediterranean. Extreme weather breaking out through central regions of Australia and as well coastal regions of Sri Lanka as you've got a cyclone approaching your region. Other than that, no major cyclones or typhoons developing in this long-range forecast. This is a forecast right up until December 1st, everybody. That's when everything will really change. So stay tuned to daily updates as these forecasts can change daily. Big systems roaring through the North Pacific. And I've been documenting for the past few weeks how we are really on the verge of a very record-setting winter. Having a look here at snowfall totals over the next 10 days across North America. Regions in the Sierra Nevadas could see 50 to 100 inches. Colorado could see another 25 to 30 centimeters. Parts of northern BC could see upwards of 300 centimeters towards Juneau, Alaska as well. So, Winter is here. Big systems propelling them and getting ready to dump a lot of snow across the Northern Hemisphere. Quick look here around the world. Snow will be piling up through parts of Turkey and Russia. I always like to share what our polar vortex looks like, showing our upper level winds, which depicts our polar vortex can see all the upper level winds that swirl around our magnetic north as you can see where it is it's over Svalbard right now 
really strong systems and winds will be piling into Europe over the next three days. Upper level winds are coming in over Europe right now, 285 kilometers an hour. This is a look at winds 15,000 feet. This is where we can see our jet streams in action and all of the lows and highs that propel and create our weather systems around the world. Again, I want to thank you all for watching tonight. If you enjoyed the show, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Share with a friend or family. And much love. Hope you're enjoying your weekend and enjoy the rest of it. Stay safe and healthy. Here's a look at our southern polar vortex versus the north as we are on the verge for winter 2024 into 2025. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now.